2003, I was at a bit of a low point and I was introduced to something by somebody close to me, which is the case often is. Now this is, uh, it's risky, it's expensive, it's a white powder. I get addicted to it, mountains of it. I fall in love with skiing. And no, that's not a crash, that's my reclined skiing pose. I'm introduced to this by Big Brother Pete. In 2004, March, we're feeding our addiction and we're skiing in Austria with a German uh, colleague. And a little bit of sunshine is about to come into my life. Bernd's wife is a nurse, Margaret, and she invites a colleague to come along the ski trip with us. Katrin, 28, blonde German nurse, nickname Katie. We get to spend a little bit of time together. It especially helped when the ski gondola breaks down and <laughs> communicate. They don't get paid too much. It's amazing what you can do with 100 euros in the ski of life. But you'll notice. I have braces. It's like I'm a teenager again. Get braces, discover girls. I have learned that personality does play a, an important role in relationships and braces come out. And we become close. It's so close, in fact, after the ski holiday, I have extra time in Europe. She takes extra leave and we take her car and we go on a driving tour somewhere a little bit warmer, down south, through uh, Switzerland, down to uh, Italy. And we become closer, but I have to return to my job in Australia and she's got to return to nursing and during. But we stay in contact and we decide, you know what we're going to do? We're going to ski together at the next start ski season in the Northern Hemisphere. Breckenridge, Colorado, January 2005. We have an exciting ski holiday and uh, just a lovely time uh, together. Now, for anybody who's ever skied, you build up a massive appetite. And so in the evening, you eat these sumptuous meals. And after we'd had these meals every night, and we'd walk back, and Breckenridge had wide boulevards, the lights were still up for Christmas, light snow falling, very, very romantic time. And we become very serious about one another. Katie wants to explore the world. She wants to volunteer for an aid organisation in Pakistan. And, and I support this. And that's, you know, great. Travel broadens the mind. And that's exactly what uh, she does. Uh, Katie uh, works for the uh, Kuna Christian Hospital in rural Pakistan. But her time there was actually quite difficult. It was the food, it was the climatic conditions, it was how women were treated. So she went you know, quite close to her faith, Christianity, just to help get her over this, this rough period. She lost a little bit of uh, weight. I'm uh, not a religious person per se, I'm more of a spiritual person. I believe what you put out in life, eventually it'll, it'll come back to you. And we decide to meet and have our next holiday here. Three weeks adventure. That's a famous gateway beside a famous hotel. Any guesses where that is? Mumbai. Mumbai. Spot on. Gateway to India. Taj Mahal Hotel. I, uh, when I leave the academy, uh, the last day of my shift before going on this holiday, I felt you know, the weight here is all this up. I'm going to see Kate in this week. And I fly via Bangkok into uh, Bombay, that's Mumbai. Now, Katie, she takes a bus from her rural village. And on that bus journey, she has a bit of an epiphany. She lands in uh, um, Karachi and then flies into Bombay. And at last, we meet and embrace, not here, but just down the road at the opulent, Shelley's guest house. <laughs> now, I meet Katie, and I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon, and I can see she's lost a lot of weight. And she says to me, Hey, Daz, uh, on my uh, bus journey from the village to the capital of Karachi, I realised that I'm deeply religious and, and you're not. So there's no future for us. I'm going to go to Pakistan. She could have sent me a text message. <laughs> I 
Oh, halfway around the world, I'm shocked, I'm devastated, it's a strange land, strange people. Just had the floor ripped out from underneath with me. What do I do? I reach out to my support network. I pick up the telephone, I call my own dad. What was that call like? Why didn't you hear from them? When we received your phone call, we were in the kitchen and I had never heard you cry like you did then. And I had visions of you throwing yourself out of the window. I was extremely worried because you had been through so much. What were you going to say, Mummy? But I think I told Daryl uh, not to do anything like suicide over any anybody at all. And uh, and you did say, I, 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 Mummy, I won't do anything silly. I never shed a tear over the shooting. I'm just not much of a cry. But this was all too much. I was a blithering mess on this phone. But I promised Mum and Dad, you know, you can sleep easy at night. I'm not going to harm myself. I'll be getting on that plane. I'll be getting home. So I rearranged my flights. They arranged a comfortable hotel in Bangkok. So I got back into Brisbane. I went and saw my psychiatrist. He understood this was, you know, a low and a new low. Recommended a month off work. Changed my medication. And in about three months' time, I was functioning pretty much the same that, that I was, was as I was functioning before I went on this trip. Is that I had learned in the past, nothing lasts forever, good or bad. I know I was lucky to already know this from previous experiences. So drawing on that, I asked for help, I adapted, I refocused, and you know to dig deep and find a little bit of resilience and carry on in life. And what I was focusing on was my future, my study. I've got my, my, my place at work to hide in the corner doing my day job and training at the academy and my future all mapped out with the new skills I'm gaining in my network. And there's also something else to note. Bitterness it eats away at you. It gets you nowhere. Katie and I, we're still friends to this day. She's happily married to a Christian. She has a beautiful baby girl and on my, after my mother's passing on the 16th of August this year, Katie got in contact and passed on her condolences. 